Today's video is all about my hair. I'm gonna try a little experiment. Normally, your hair goes in a certain direction, just naturally, normally. I have worn my hair this way for 20 something years. And today, I'm gonna wash, dry, and style my hair and try to make it flip in the other direction. So hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Renee, this is my bathroom and I have super curly, naturally gray hair. I am getting a little thin spot right there. It's not over here, it's just here, right in the temple. I'm gonna try to make my hair go in the opposite direction. It normally goes this way. I'm gonna fix it so that it goes this way, and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna take my hair down. I know it's bad, I know it's horrible. It is day four, that's why I'm getting in the shower. But let me just show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so look right here. I am getting this weird straightness happening right here. And when I fix my hair, it is making this side be very, very droopy with this long piece hanging here. And then this side is all curled up. So I've been talking to my hairdresser and she's like, well, flip it over. Renee, just flip it over. And I'm like, Betsy, I don't know that it's going to flip over. And every time I wash my hair, I completely forget to try it. And so today, I, oh my, I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna try to do everything in the reverse to make my hair go this way, and we'll see what happens. I have a very strong curl pattern right here. See this, whoop, it just automatically wants to go that way. So I don't know what it's gonna do when I try to flip it this way. I thought you might enjoy this curly hair experiment. And I think my hair issues are coming from several different things. Number one, like I said, I am getting a thin spot. Number two, I am getting a little bit of straightening over here, but not so much over here. And then number three, I've been completely gray now for over three years. I feel like the whiter the hair, the limper the hair. It's very, very fine. Oh my gosh, this looks so horrible. But the very white hair around my face is so super, super fine. It's like my hair has gotten thinner and finer and lost some of its oomph because it wasn't thick and bulked up and it didn't have color on it. When I colored, it used to be kind of rough and hard and now it's just like baby soft little fine hair so i'm losing some bulk it's getting uh, 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 which i'm not used to at all so i'm gonna try to flip it let's flip it and see what happens Woo! i feel so much better okay so I've, my hair is washed and clean does y'all's hair hurt if you don't wash it for a couple days Mine does, but like day three or especially day four, my hair hurts, but it's all good now. Y'all, this is my favorite little hair wrap. I am not gonna do anything different to my hair today than I normally do. I'm using the same products, the exact same process. I'm just gonna do it to one side versus the other. So if you wanna know about the products I'm gonna use and how I use them and why I love them, I have so many videos on my channel about products specifically, and I'll make sure one of those videos pops up at the end of this video, and they will also be listed in the description box below this video. So see, just I have a natural big curl right there, right out of the bat, and see what I mean? This straight, thin area happening right here, this is what I, think I might be able to disguise by flipping it the other way. I don't know. I may just expose crazy curls on that side. We're going to find out. But I like my hair to be soaking wet when I put product on it. So I've got to re-wet it just a little bit. Otherwise, it gets really frizzy. First, I use my Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel with a squirt of Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum and flip. Just a little more. Flip. 
followed by Curls Rock Amplifier by Catwalk. One big squirt. One more squirt. See how it's just straight? The side is just straightening out and this side is boop, full of curls. This is gonna be the hard part. I normally twist my curls around my finger to make them go this way. So now I gotta make them go this way, which means I gotta twist in the opposite direction, which is gonna be weird. So this would be my part B. Can you see this curl right here, the squiggly? This is where I'm getting so weird. This is what's causing me the problem is this little curl right here. So I'm gonna take it and let's see if it'll go this way. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> I guess the worst thing that could happen is if my hair looks horrible, I'll just put on a headband or something. That sounded really, really country. <laughs> Look, black and white. So this has got to go this way. See, this is definitely going to be stringy over here. I can already tell it. So the next thing I've been doing, and this is something I've only been doing for a couple months. I don't have it 100% figured out, but using these little clips, I can kind of force a little lift right there while I'm drying my hair. I just take some of the curls and kind of give it a little bump and it, it gives it a little lift. Hmm, I don't know what to do over here. And I always have one clump of curls underneath it shrinks up really, really short. So I always twist it and put a clip at the bottom and just that little bit of added weight hanging on that curl makes the curl fall just like the hair around it. I've always had my favorite hair dryer, my bed head hair dryer. I've gone through like five of those hair dryers. Mine died a couple months ago. It just randomly went out and I decided to branch out and try a new hair dryer. So I bought this. I'm really loving it. It's one of those fancy, doesn't blow air, just puts off heat hair dryers. I don't know how to explain the technology. It's like on technology or something. is about 80% dry and oh I hope I didn't mash it down too much with those clips but when I take the clips out it is going to look totally different. So I dried my hair for six minutes and I'm going to let it just cool. I'm going to put on some makeup and then I'll see you back here in a sec. 
Okay, I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes, enough time for me to put on just a little bit of foundation and blush and stuff. And um, I think I'm gonna take the pins down. I mean, my hair's 95% dry. It's a little wet underneath back there, but I wanna get the pins out before they start to leave. Impressions. And the pins do get caught up in my curls. I have to be very careful when I pull them out not to create frizz. And I honestly forget where I put them all. <laughs> I gotta dig around to make sure there's not one hiding. So I'm gonna let my hair just kinda naturally relax on its own, let it fall on its own while I continue to finish my makeup, and then I'm gonna get my fingers in there and see what we got. From what I can see right now, it looks like it's actually gonna turn out pretty good. Y'all, if this actually works and I have been fighting the straight hair for the past two years, comment below now. What do you think is going to happen? Is this going to work or is this going to be a huge fail? Let me show you what I got right now. Just, you know, just took the pins out. It's actually looking kind of good. Ah, okay, I'll see you in a minute. So the hair in the 10 minutes it took me to finish my makeup did not change. It did not fall. It didn't move. So I'm just going to kind of get my fingers in here and scrunch things up and see what happens. So let me show you what it looks like before I get my hands in here. This one is going to be weird, I think, because it's coming inward. But anyway, so... All of this is dry. I'm just gonna kinda scrunch the curls up, fluff them up. Uh, this is a, maybe a little damp right there. A little damp. We got wonky, crazy stuff happening right here. I got too much of this going over here, so I'm gonna have to separate some things. without causing a disturbance. Uh-oh, no. I'm not quite sure what to do. It's all entwined, and if I start separating things, it's gonna look bad. Oh, that curl just popped open. Before it was all put together, and it just went Wah! Wow, this hair that I pulled back with the pin, it is, it is staying back. It is not coming down. Wow, I'm gonna do something crazy. Oh, I had to get all that loosened up. And I think that was a bad move. I should not have done that. I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. I'm gonna do around the house for a little bit and we're gonna come back and check on it. If I start messing with this anymore, I feel like I'm just gonna make it frizzy. So it may just kind of fall on its own. I need, I don't know what I need. It's just, it's just different because it's on the opposite side. So I don't know. I know it's gonna look different naturally, but maybe I just leave it like this. What do y'all think? Well, here it is. It's been about an hour since I saw you last and it hadn't really changed, y'all. So I decided to go with it. I put a little spritz of hairspray and stuck my fingers up in it so it would kind of stay put. The only thing I think I would do different is this one little weird piece is still weird and it's my own fault. It's because I twisted it this direction. So for today, I'm just gonna kind of tuck that little piece behind my ear but next time I do my hair, I will make sure to go in the other direction because all of these that I twisted back and pinned have definitely stayed back. So let me give you a little spin around so you can see what it looks like. And I think this was a success. This side is so full. It looks so good because this is the side that was droopy and sort of getting a little thin and straight. And I don't know what was going on over there. Here is a photo of me just the other day. You can see on that side how straight and droopy my hair was. But I think this has totally fixed it. This is back. This is looking good. Whoa, y'all, I'm gonna 
to have a good day. I'm excited to go out. And I'm actually heading into the kitchen right now to film a kitchen tour video for you all because I have been cleaning my kitchen for three days straight. We had a snowstorm here. There was nowhere that I was going to go. I didn't leave this house. So I just clean, clean, clean. So today I'm going to film a kitchen tour video with my cute little hairdo. So this little experiment is just a reminder to you and me both that the smallest little changes can have the biggest impacts. This is the perfect example. And so when life throws you a curveball and you've got a problem and you just really need to figure out a solution, just remember, it's the little things. Try the little things because you could have drastic positive results. That's my motto for the day. And I'll see you later.